Hey guys, I'm Ozia and welcome to today's episode. Today we're going to be making uh, some ice um, and we're going to be doing the thermal expansion uh, glacial precipitator and with the fluid crystallizer from Rotocraft. So uh, it's, it's going to be sort of like a one versus the other. Um, in my case, I actually need to make both because um, as with most Rotocraft things, uh, things like your environment. Uh, uh, gets taken into account. So at the moment, I'm where am I? I'm in the uh, plains at the moment. But if I go over here, uh, I'm in a savanna. As you can see, most of the plains area is taken up. I could build uh, the glacial precipitator over here, but I don't really want to. That and there's less content for the video if I do it over there. But I'm gonna do it over here and. Um, so the ambient temperature of uh, the savannah and also things like the desert, the desert is uh, about 40 degrees or 39 degrees or so. Um, you also find this stuff in rainforests as well. So if you're in one of those areas, um, you can have a little bit of issue with the uh, fluid crystallizer. Since you need to get it down to minus eight to freeze water, you're going to have to find ways to uh, do that. So the first thing we need to do is, strange enough, you're gonna need some ice in the form of snow. So you can get some snow just by shoveling it off the ground. So have to go and find that stuff. So everyone knows how to make ice. Pretty easy, four pieces of snow. You get two pieces of snow there. And this goes into making a glacial precipitate from thermal expansion. So you're going to need a machine frame, a gearbox, a redstone reception coil, and a copper gear. Two copper gears, I mean. Machine frame in the center, gearbox at the top, a redstone reception coil at the bottom, and two copper gears at the, car, at the sides, in the corners, I mean. And then at the sides, you put your snow, and you've got a glacial precipitator. Okay, so... Basically what you want to do is you want to just uh, place it down so it's got power. I'm going to place it down there. Power gets built up, yep. And you well, just got to get some water. You've got to pump water into it or you can bucket it in. So, if I get a bucket... I think I can bucket it in. I didn't test this beforehand. I just did it with the water. Let's see if we can just bucket it in. Bucket. Uh, can't bucket in. Okay, the answer is no. I cannot bucket it in. I could probably pipe it in. Let's get rid of this water first. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you can use liquid pipes, uh, Billcraft pipes, or and I'm going to use some Radiocraft liquid pipes. And so, as you can see, the front's changed because it's got water. And we're getting ice. Okay, so basically you only need one piece of ice. Uh, we're gonna use the ice to cool down the uh, glacial precipitator. Uh, actually, we're gonna need that bucket for later on. Because we're also gonna need some water too. So we need one bucket of water. Not from there, over here. Okay, water, there we go. Now, let us go on to making the glacial precipitator. So you're going to need uh, three cooling fins, and they're just uh, six um, shafts and three base panels, so they're pretty easy to make. Uh, so you're going to need some base panels, an impeller, and two ingots. Go over to your workstation, put the cooling fins in a pyramid shape, base panels on the base, Impeller in the center and the two last ingots in the corners and you get our fluid crystallizer Which requires a minimum power of uh, 2048 kilowatts at 1024 so you can do that with uh, two DC electric engines um, if you have a four, one to four gearbox in speed mode So it's pretty easy to have one of these things run. We're gonna we're gonna hook it up to the nuclear reactor of course because uh, that's what you do when you have a nuclear reactor. You try and power everything by it, including the most silliest of things of all. OK, 
Okay, so you're going to need some cobblestone as well, or some kind of a structural block. Um, the idea is you're going to need to put the... Um, you need to put ice down, and you need to basically cover it up so it doesn't get a... How do I say? Melted. Yes, that's the word. Okay. So, I'm going to put the ice here. But first, I'm going to put the machine down. Um, ice won't melt, or it shouldn't melt, if it's covered up. Okay, so that's facing the wrong direction. I want to go that way. As you can see, Whale says it's 25 degrees at the moment, and it's night time. You also notice that temperature is also dependent on the time of day. So at night time, it'll go down, and obviously, when the sun's out, hotter and such. So what we're going to do is we're going to place the ice down there and see it's starting to drop temperature and I'm going to just block this off just in case that ice does melt in the future, I don't want water everywhere. Okay, so minus three. Okay, and then what we want to do is we want to pump water in it before we add power to it. So it should fill it with water. And as you can see, it knows it's got water in there. It says you're going to need minus 8 degrees to fill it. As you can see, it's not time. That's not going to happen. Uh, okay, so let's add some power to it. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, electrograph, power, source. Let's go. Okay, how much power are we running into this thing? Operation time, 4.6 seconds. So we're putting in 83 million watts. That's way more than it needs, but who cares? Okay, so if we rock we're gonna still need to get this temperature down. So what we're gonna do is, actually we're gonna um, pump the water in from the top because I wanna use the side. Okay, there we go. Water in from the side. And this is where that bucket of water comes in, in use. Um, so we're gonna just, like that. And where's that bucket of water? Bucket of water in there. As you can see, now we're getting down to minus 16, minus 18. Remember, minus eight is the required one. I'm gonna just chuck a cheat mode on here so I can get it to go daytime. So, so we can heat, heat it up and see what it's like. Okay, minus 10, minus nine. Okay, it's just there. So in the middle of the day, it will work. So you're gonna need a nice block and, ooh, ice block. Mm, I want one. Uh, after this, I'll go grab one. Um, okay, so you need to get that. Yeah, gonna need to put water next to it as well, just to increase the cooling efficiency. Okay, so now that we've got that going, um, let us just automate this so I can get a whole chest. Uh, yeah. Rotate, rotate. There we go. Chest. Yeah. DC engine. Excellent. Okay, there we go. Now I can't actually look at the machine. Uh, wait, yes, I can. From behind, I reckon. Whoops. Pipe back on. Okay, there we go. Eight seconds. Cheaty off. Okay, 
how much volt? Uh, okay, so that should be 8,000 rads. going pretty fast so that's uh i think that's about it <sighs> okay usually guys i would ask you for you know likes likes like that likes and subscriptions which i'm going to ask for those anyway but uh what i'd like for you to guys to do is uh if you guys think that there's any way that i can improve my content for you guys let me know because um Generally, when I watch my video, I think they're absolutely perfect. Um, really, I, I've got no idea. Um, so I rely on you guys for telling me what's wrong. Whoops. That was probably what's wrong. Um, and, you know, I take your suggestions into account. And hopefully I can get myself better. Because uh, I really like making videos for you guys. And, yeah. So if you guys can help me to help you, that would be awesome. Um, yeah. So until next time guys. Mm.